What's the deal, people? Welcome to another video. New Creature Speaks video, that is. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you're interested in following me on Twitter, Facebook, also Google+, please view that information there at the bottom there in the description. I appreciate it. And uh, to view uh, other ventures that I've going on in Christ, all right, view the video, keep it up, New Creature Info updated to, I mean, at 12 30, 2014, all right? And uh, it's Next Ever Sports, it's Next Ever Sounds, and more. And uh, I don't want you in the dark consider what Christ wants to do in these last days, okay? Because it's about to be amazing, it's about to be on him. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on. All right. Well, this particular video, I just want to say this. First of all, okay, well, the title of it is No Christ, No Good Success. No Christ, No Good Success, all right? And this video is not to be targeted at anybody, all right? Uh, the purpose of the video is to get everybody on one accord and, and you know, and uh, address some things, you know, why success is going on in the world and then, you know, that type of thing. And I just want to address some issues or, or address this issue, you know, no Christ, no good success. Simple as that. All right. Okay, let's get into it. And uh, please don't get upset, offended or anything like that. Because, you know, um, we are going to, we, we need to be on one accord, okay, about why success is happening, okay, and that type of thing, all right. All right, first thing y'all need to know, there's two types of success in the world, okay, in the earth, all right, there's, there's the world system success, and there's the Christ system success. Anybody want to guess which one's well known and which one's not well known? The world system is, success is well known, right? Well... Christ ain't well known, so obviously his success is not well known. Yeah, we see pastors and stuff like that, you know, um, ministers, you know, following the spirit of Christ like they're supposed to, and they got success, right? Okay, but I'm talking about music. I'm talking about Christian actors, Christian music. I'm talking about, um, you know, all those things. Success. It's not known, Right? It's not known. So, I'm saying it's the world system, okay? There's people over on the world system side, okay? Which is man, all right? My, you know, you've heard, if you've seen my other video, you've seen the definition of man is a person who has not yet come into a relationship with Christ yet, right? So, um... Now, for those of you artists out there that's on the other on the world system side, I hear a lot of people saying, well, you know, I like to thank God for my success. I like to thank God for my award. I like to thank God that I'm here. Um, I like to thank God for my success. Uh, I like to thank God for this. Thank God for, you know, you, you, give it, you get what I'm saying. And rappers are saying it the same thing. You know, I like to thank God for my success and that type of thing. And I like to thank God for my reward. But uh, let me ask, let me challenge some of you out there, you know, um, this, this, this is for everybody, country artists, rock artists, you know, contemporary hit radio artists, um, all of you all, all of you all who um, are saying these types of things, you know, um, you can't really tie success, uh, Christ to your success because your lyrics don't honor him. Okay, your lyrics do not honor him. All right, there is a scripture in the word, and I want you to look it up. I want you, I want you to read it for yourself. It's Joshua chapter one, verse eight. All right, in that scripture it says, "Meditate on the word day and night. You may observe to do that is written. Okay, you will have good success. All right. Also, I want you to know that uh, in order to talk. You know, you're tying Christ to your success. However, is your lifestyle lining up with the Lord Jesus Christ? I mean, because that's the only way that you can say that Christ is a part of my success. All right? Because your lyrics are not lifting up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not throwing stones. I'm not saying, please don't get upset. It's the way the world system is, folks. That is the way the world system is, all right? The world system supports the world system, and the Christ system supports the Christ system. 
And that's just that's before Christ goes into mainstream. This is how, that's how it is right now, as we speak, as right, right now. You get what I'm saying? So Christ had no choice, folks, but to allow you to be successful over on the world system side until, all right, until a Christian, all right, comes over to the body of Christ and pays a price for Christ to go mainstream. Somebody got to pay for that. Okay? You want better, a lot of people want better music on the radio. A lot of people want Christ to do this and want Christ to do that. But somebody has to pay the price first. Somebody got to pay for it. I'm not talking about tithes and offerings, even though we do got to pay our tithes and offerings to a church. I'm talking about laying their life down for Christ to do something spectacular in the world. Somebody got to pay for that. All right? Christians are going mainstream, but somebody had to pay for that. All right? Christians, we're going mainstream. Okay? Simple as that. You need a scripture? Here you go. 2 Peter chapter 5, uh, verse 6. James chapter 4. Okay? It's also found in it. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. He will exalt you in due time. All right? Both of those scriptures uh, say to you that, hey, we're going to be well known one day. I need to be prepared. You get what I'm saying? It may not happen. You think it may not happen, but if you get if you get a revelation and understanding of that scripture, you know it's going to happen. I already know it's going to happen. It's part of my purpose. I, I, I have to know it's going to happen. You get what I'm saying? So all I'm saying to you artists out there, don't get upset. All right? You have an opportunity. You have the opportunity to fix it. You're not dead yet. Okay? You have some time left. You're still on the earth. You're still, you're still living. Okay? Yes. Christ had no choice but to allow your success to happen over on the world system side. All right? You have a chance to do, uh, have success in Christ. You have the opportunity to do that. All right? Christ forgives us all. But like I said, he had no choice but to allow your success to happen. They have TV shows with gay and lesbian lifestyle. You think that's success? Coming from Christ? Really? Because a, a TV show has... Gay and lesbian, uh, so, you know, it gets high ratings because that's we're supposed to label that success. Uh, Christ is tied to that success. No, he's not tied to that success. It's world system success. All right? That's what it is. All right? That's what it is. So, again, you have a chance to get it right. All right? I'm not throwing stones. I would be a fool to those stones, and I'll be a fool and be, you know what I'm saying, to... To point anybody out. I just, I, I can't do that. Why? Because we're going to celebrate together, y'all. We're going to celebrate together, man. Let's do it. All right? You got some understanding. Okay? And uh, Christ is going to take over the mainstream, man. That's what he wants to do. Okay? He wants his kids in there. You know? And Christians, you can't be up there. Well, you know, I don't want no parts of that. Right. You want to be, you don't want to be the world system. You don't want to be, go about success the world system way. But you want to go about, you know, success the Christ way. And that's what he's requiring of us to do. He wants us to do it the right way, the Christ way, man. So we can be an example to the world, all right? And, uh, you know, Christ, you can't tie Christ to successful, you know, the raps, rappers, you know? Um, when your lyrics are, you know, ex glorifying weed smoke and, you know, uh, calling each other nigga. And, you know, I mean, Christ is not a part of that success, man. You can't, lay, you can't put that on Christ's success. You can't. You know, your lifestyle and the lyrics are not coming from the spirit of Christ. All right. Don't get upset. You know, hey, listen, hey, you you can still be used by Christ, fam. All right. You can be forgiven. You know, I've already forgiven. You know what I'm saying? I've been forgiven. You understand what I'm saying? So, all right, y'all. So I hope y'all got something out of that. All right. Um, Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. Uh, Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 and Mark 7 chapter, I mean chapter 7 verse 6. Please look those scriptures up. The scripture says, your mouth honors me, but your heart is far from me. Okay? Uh, you're up there receiving the war and you're thanking God, but your heart, I mean, your, your, your mouth is honoring him, but your heart is far from him. And that's all because of the world system. Okay? The world system, you know, doesn't want you to talk about God. Talk about Christ. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? And Christ's going to fix it. All right, y'all. I hope y'all got something out of this video. Okay? If you like what you've heard in this video, please uh, subscribe to my video channel, New Creature Speaks. All right? And this video was not designed to throw stones on anybody because I love you all and New Creature loves you all and we are going to have a party. We're going to have a blast. You know what I'm saying? 
that's what's up. Just need to address these issues, okay? So you all know why am I having success? You know what I'm saying? And cre cre new creature is saying this, all right? There you go. Read those scriptures. Don't take my word for it, please. Let every man be a lie and God's word be true, all right? So don't take my word for it. Read those scriptures and uh, get it in your heart, y'all. All right? We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere, all right? We're going to celebrate together. That's what's up. All right, y'all. I'm new creature. I'm out. Later.